What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing a really cool video today. We're gonna be breaking down something super interesting. I've been wanting to kind of do this for some time. Basically what we're gonna be doing is we went out and purchased a local powder blend of kind of the same caliber of what the uh, Sour Blue Raz is without the caffeine. But we're gonna compare it at, you know, taste test wise because essentially it's gonna be roughly the same thing. Um, I find it important that we compare and contrast our products with stuff that's out there. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So I've already lined up two different shakers this one right here is gonna have ours in it this one's gonna have the competitors I will mention one thing we're not gonna be name dropping today another thing is this is a local competitor this is not gonna be another company of you guys are probably come up with a few different companies you will probably not ever guess them but they're actually really big locally as well so yeah let's get started so what we're gonna do first is uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do obviously like one scoop I'm actually gonna show you guys what the scoops and everything look like from this company their scoops basically feature a longer handle, but they don't have a, a pour spout for water bottles. So I would say we we're kind of leading that standard in general. A lot of companies offer that. A lot of bigger and better companies offer that. It's a very nice quality assurance level thing. So let's just go ahead. We're going to do one scoop and uh, you guys can probably see we're basically going to round that off the top. That's pretty close. Another side note, this one actually uh, smells, it actually smells pretty good, but this is a, this is their version of a Blue Raz. It smells pretty good. Let's go ahead and get a a scoop of ours got the sour blue shot round that up at the top so as you can already tell uh, the difference between the two the powder here is a little bit lighter ours is a little bit more predominantly blue actually which is crazy given the value of the powder right off the bat obviously we have our you know scoops with the funnel and everything so that's really cool so we're gonna start with uh, the competitors and it seems like right off the bat it's uh, the color is is kind of coming out here I'm curious to see if this is gonna be a lot darker this is our old shakers. Uh, these ones have better lids, <laughs> but we're bad boy up right now. Okay, right off the bat, uh, the blue color is super light. We have quite a bit of residual stuff going on here. Don't like that. It's really foamy. I know, um, but, you know, we're gonna be looking at ours here and, and kind of comparing and seeing what's going on with that. But there's just a lot of extra stuff going on here and I'm not a fan of that, but you know, um, face value, that's just kind of an, an observation that I'm making because obviously that's something that we care about. And um, again, basic, just quality assurance level stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get ours in here. One scoop there. We won't be able to compare the blue colors exactly because this is a red shaker, but I think I shook mine just a little bit less. Um, yeah, wow, so we don't even have as much foam going on as what they've got over here. That seems super chemical-y to me, if you guys wanna, if you wanna get a good shot at that. It is really foamy. I feel like I'm, I'm drinking soda. Um, there's no carbonation, obviously. Ours, there's no colors, you know, that we can see predominantly through the red. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop these open here. What do you think, what, which one should I try first? Competitors. Competitors, okay. So we're gonna try theirs first. This is the Sour Blue Raz, I'm actually kind of excited. It's really tart, it's not really sweet. You know, I'm, I'll have to go look at the ingredients again and kind of see what's going on, but uh, interesting. Okay, so that's that. Let's go over to ours. That was kind of the biggest thing I'm just barely noticing is it's very tart, it's not really sweet. It doesn't taste like uh, something I would enjoy again if I, if I just had it laying around. Oh yeah, no, you can tell also, right off the bat though, you can tell with ours, you know, the flavor just pops right forward you know the number one thing that you notice is the flavor with what we've got in here and all of our ingredients it just stands out oh yeah i'm taking this bad boy to the gym leaving this one home i will let me let me hold on hold on i'm just kind of disappointed because like the smell is there it smells great like ours you guys obviously know what the sour blue raz and the sour blue shock you know what that smells like you're gonna get this the smell with the taste no questions the smell that you get from this is is fantastic but the taste is not so that is like the biggest difference yeah that's that's a big no not out of you know like disrespect but i do have to pour this one out i just can't i can't do that a little too different for me you know I, I would say that if, if you know, lined up with uh, somebody that was gonna be trying to choose between the two, ours would stand out, given that the taste just pops a lot more. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish mine off, probably. But this one, no, I, I probably can't do, so. 
probably throwing it away maybe. Yeah, anyway, so that's gonna be kind of the wrap up of today's video, nothing wild. I'll probably get some uh, B-roll footage of some drone stuff, but yeah, this is our Sour Blue Shock, absolutely a banger of a flavor. Um, grab it with the shaker, we have two that are out right now. You know, they're not sold out by any means, so you guys can hop in and pick up some uh, Sour Blue Shock. This does have caffeine in it, it's 100 milligrams. Kinda get you going possibly before a workout or something, so that's kind of the review. I'm, I'm actually really shocked, I actually thought this was gonna be a lot better. It's an eye-opener. You buy quality, that's for sure. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already. Uh, you know, it goes to help the channel. We're trying to hit a thousand. That would be freaking amazing on the subscribers so that, uh, you know, we can take our channel to that next level and, and that would be amazing. Also like the video as well. If you like the video, it smashes the uh, um, YouTube algorithm and that's just everything that we need, especially when trying to grow. I mean, obviously that's a huge thing. So yeah, thanks for stopping by guys. Peace out.